My name is Ann Rourke and I am a stage four colon cancer patient. I have a lump on my breast and that's how we discovered I had cancer. So I've had two surgeries. Uh, I've finished chemo and I'm in the middle of radiation therapy right now. In the last two years of June health, I came down with, you know, obviously throat cancer. I first found out I had cancer when I was um, 27 had some shortness of breath and chest pain, ended up in the emergency room at the hospital I was working at, did some x-rays and then we ended up doing scans and um, found out I had a mass the size of a tennis ball by my heart. I decided to go to my OB and my OB said, um, what is this? I have a big tumor and she said it, I was five, it looked like I was five months pregnant at that time and then I went for an ultrasound and then we discovered that there was a big tumor already. So I had a hysterectomy and chemo right after that. When you first get that diagnosis, it's like a movie. They keep talking after they've said you have cancer and it's going right over your head and you're not hearing anything else. The side effects of the treatment, major ones for me were fatigue, brain fog, like not as quick with my thoughts. These days, I still, even months after my, my chemo, I still run out of spoons. <laughs> I get tired. Um, I was easily distracted before cancer and so more so now. <laughs> me too. <laughs> a time to heal was a very big part of moving on from being patient to survivor because it was very helpful to go through this with someone and mm -hmm. someone who has already gone through it and who, who's gone before us also who knows how it felt during that time and all the complications that come with treatment and um, just having that community. It just was exactly something I was kind of looking for, uh, a program, something you know, something I could have some kind of personal connection with and connect with other people. Now, I didn't go in there expecting it to be other guys there or certainly, let, you know, other trait patients. But I knew that the experience of cancer is bad no matter what guys it's under. Many of them had done quite a bit of research about their cancer and um, there were just, when Stephanie was guiding the group, there were a lot of kind of educational conversations about treatment and side effects and just dealing with, with cancer. Every day we tracked ourselves in the morning, afternoon, evening, how we felt. As I tracked it, you know, consistently over the first week or two, I realized when I get really tired or that I, I can't think as quick. It was a wealth of resources. Mm -hmm. It was very helpful and it was it was free yes <laughs> it was free we so we were so amazed that the this kind of material mm -hmm. would be available so so freely yeah. and so we, we really appreciated that my mailbox is just constantly filled with yet another medical bill it's just non-stop to have a program like this be available for free is is huge they're supporting something that is so helpful to people that really need that help at that time. That's a place they can go and they can be around people that have that same problem. With Rose's participation in it, along with my own, that we would help understand each other better as well as understand other people afflicted with the problem. To other survivors out there, there is always hope. Yeah, even in the most bleak of circumstances mm -hmm. and, and through all the challenges and issues, there is always hope and there are always people who are willing to encourage you, support mm -hmm. you and go with you through this journey. If it works for me and it worked for her, that'll work for hundreds to thousands of others, I'm sure. Different ways, but it'll help. I can't imagine how anyone can go away from the class and not get something uh, positive from it. I probably would have paid for the class because I wanted to take the class. I appreciate it. I'm thankful to the Time to Heal Foundation, um, donors, people who um, support it, that this is something that can be shared. Something 
that's not really accessible maybe in our country yeah. and um, you've made this possible for us and we're very thankful for that and I hope and pray that we could reach more and that more people would be able to get involved and also to um, support such a wonderful program. That's really making a difference in someone's life and no you're not saving the world but you're helping that one person and that's that's important. The donors who provide this are, are fabulous people. We, we give them all hugs. <laughs>